Hi, and welcome back to the Classics Technology Flow and Simulation Knowledge Center. My name is Tim Lankish, and I am the Director of Engineering at CAE Services Corporation, where we specialize in providing advanced simulation services for the injection molding industry. In last month's Tech Tip, we talked about the different types of simulation models that could be built to represent the part geometry in an injection mold. We showed the differences among those finite element models and how they impact both the timing and the results of a project. While those finite element models are just one piece of the puzzle, in this tech tip, we'll show you what else goes into an injection molding simulation model. After modeling the part geometry, three other pieces of the puzzle are needed. Mold geometry, material information, and process conditions. As was the case for part geometry, it is equally important to have an accurate representation of each of these. For the mold, the cooling lines, hot manifold, cold runners, and gates must all be modeled, along with any cooling inserts made out of a different material than the main cavity and core blocks. Mesh density in these components is also critical to the accuracy of these results. For the material, fully characterized properties by a trusted source using industry standards are a must when it comes to getting accurate results, especially with warpage predictions. Substitutions are not recommended for the overwhelming majority of cases. Some of these properties include melt rheology, which describes the plastic's viscosity as a function of temperature and shearing, compressibility curves, which describe the plastic's shrinking under packing pressure while it cools down, thermal properties such as specific heat and thermal conductivity over a range of temperatures, and a special set of shrinkage data called CRIMS which helps describe a material shrinkage in different directions. We'll deal with each of these individually in a separate tech tip. For the processing conditions, all phases of the molding cycle must be input correctly. Injection profiles, valve gate sequences, pack and hold pressure profiles, material and coolant temperatures, cooling time, and coolant flow rates are among the many process settings that are input into each simulation. Making sure that each of the four puzzle pieces is modeled accurately is critical to the success of any injection molding simulation. Inaccuracy in any one aspect can introduce errors that propagate throughout the results, whether it be filling, packing, cooling, or warpage. They all affect each other. Thanks for watching today. Join us for next month's tech tip when we explore material properties in more depth and explain the mystery of CRIMS data. Thank you.